this is Shockwave, bringing you the new Shockwave news. And uh, these news are provided by TFW2005.com. Anyways, let's get straight to it. So, there's a lot of new Cyberverse figures, um, photos that have been released for the Beast Hunters line, including Soundwave, which looks pretty cool, I don't know why he has a black face, as well as Hunger and Prowl. Now, continuing on, we've also got in-packaging pictures of the Beast Hunters Deluxe Class Wave 3 figures, which includes Skystalker, Dreadwing, and Ratchet. We've also got Optimus Prime, the Ultimate Class Optimus Prime, and the Ultimate Class Predator King, so you can see those photos. Um, for comic news, there's a new comic called Transformers Prelude, which seems to include the new uh, spotlight characters, you know, the action figures of generations that are supposed to come out for the IDW line. And then, we've got a Robots in Disguise preview of issue number 15, and it seems to have the Megatron, Bumblebee, and uh, I think Jazz. Um, Yes, and even Jazz from the Generations line, so that's pretty cool, I guess, if you guys want to see that. Hopefully we get that Devastator, I mean, just, just putting that out. Take it or leave it. And Mirage might be the one from Classics, I don't know. Fans Project is making a new sword for the third-party Menasaur set, so that's pretty interesting. And for BotCon, registrations are now live. And there's also many interviews for the Beast Hunters line, or um, Transformers Prime Beast Hunters, I should say, with Frank Walker and Peter Cullen. The newest episode for Beast Hunters has been revealed. Beast Hunters, Episode 4, Rebellion, Team Prime wages war against the Decepticon Kennedal. Or whatever it is. In movie news, Transformers 4 is confirmed to be filming in Chicago. As well, we've got a new, um, I don't know, sponsor for the um, Otto Graven Lens or whatever it is. I, it's a car! Yay. Anyways, that is all for now. I will see you guys next time. Peace!